We're up here in the beautiful Olympic Mountains. Um, we're gonna be doing some really uh, yummy cooking. We're gonna start a fire. And yeah, we want you guys to join in on the, the fun and, and the action up here in the in winter time in the Pacific Northwest. Like, subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. What's up guys? This is my uh, 2005 Toyota Tacoma. It's a four wheel drive, six speed uh, V6, four liter. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you around it. I recently built a the camper shell, the wedge camper on it. Um, gonna kind of tell you about the build and everything that it, it has. So yeah, um, it's a C4 uh, bumper. I've got a uh, 1100 pound winch on it. Um, it's got uh, onboard air with a Smitty built air compressor. The uh, the tires are 33s STT Pros, um, diesel heater. I'll, I'll kind of show you around inside the uh, the camper as well. <clears throat> All right. So as far as suspension goes, uh, I have the Bilstein 5100 shocks front and rear. Uh, it's like a to Toy Tech 2.5 three inch lift. Back here, I've got the diesel heater tank. It's like a 10 liter tank um i wanted something on the outside so if i like if some diesel spills or anything it's not on the inside of the cab um and these are my max track my chinese max tracks uh they work pretty well and then i've got my little shovel that's handy for digging holes and like you know for when you have to you know when nature calls and stuff it's it's a pretty solid tool uh <clears throat> and then on the other side as you can see it's basically just my 270 degree awning uh, from Overland Vehicle Systems. Uh, this thing is sweet if it's like raining or snowing. Then I've got a cell booster on the top uh, for uh, yeah my cell phone when I don't have very good reception. That thing comes in pretty handy. Um, sliders on the side of the truck. Also have airbags um, at the rear to kind of uh, offset the weight if I if like hauling bikes and like. Um, a bunch of weight in the back that definitely helps um, kind of level the truck as well as leveling when you're camping as well pretty ideal um, <clears throat> and then I routed the uh, the airlines right here so if I want to lower the truck or raise the truck I just uh, let out air off of both of those and like with a compressor fill them back up and uh, another modification I did is I put the trailer plug in the bumper because uh, on stock Tacomas they go underneath and like everybody always rips them off whenever they do any type of off-roading so um, that was definitely a good mod to do. Um, I've got the spider uh, taillights and head headlights. This is the uh, the camper shell that uh, I built. Uh, it's it's a wedge camper. Um, there's a guy on Instagram that I actually got the um, all the materials list for, and me and my buddy we built them together. We just bought double of everything. It took us about a month and a half or so, and uh, it was basically a sweatshop. I learned how to sew. Uh, I had some welding experience, but yeah, the space frame is made out of uh, all steel, and then we have the um, aluminum extrusions on the top that um, kind of have the, the wedge in there. That's all bolted together and then onto the, uh, the back of the bed. Um, the, the material is like a waterproof canvas um, that has a bug layer, a clear layer, and a, uh, a blackout layer. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, I got a solar panel, a 100 watt um, panel on the top that feeds into a Goal Zero 1500X. Uh, that kind of is my power plant for this vehicle. Uh, it works great. I, I love it. It's got Wi-Fi. You can control it with your phone. Um, the inverter is like 2,000 watt inverter. Uh, I think it can peak to like 4,000 watt, but plenty, plenty for me. 
Um, I charge like my camera gear, all, all different kinds of stuff, um, e-bikes, kind of whatever. Uh, it also powers the fridge that's back there, uh, as well as the, uh, my diesel heater that I have inside uh, for the blow plug and um, glow plug, as well as the, um, the pump that feeds the, the diesel. Uh, so yeah, I'll kind of show you in here. <clears throat> this is inside. Um, I've got my diesel heater back there. Uh, the Goal Zero 1500X, I have two five gallon uh, water tanks that feed into a pump for, um, and then I also have a hot water heater that's run off of um, a little propane tank uh, so I can take showers or wash dishes in the, uh, the hot water, which is pretty much a, a game changer. Um, this guy right here, this is my water filtration system. Um, this is called the, the Lifesaver. It's like, it's a, it's a great product. You can fill some pretty sketchy water and like pump it out and actually have it be usable, drinkable water. Um, this is my fridge right there. <clears throat> we'll climb up in here. We got some nice stuff for tonight. And then uh, water tanks back there. Diesel heaters right there. Um, hot water heater. And then this is kind of nice. This wasn't part of uh, Ripcord, that's the guy on Instagram that I got the uh, the ideas from. This goes up on struts on the inside so I can be like standing, uh, kind of like chilling out in here if it's really horrible weather, uh, get changed, kind of do whatever. And then when I'm ready to go to sleep, you just put this down and then, yeah, up in bed, <sighs> you're good to go. All right, I'm gonna show you downstairs now. We'll close this up. I've got a, uh, an air, onboard air right here. Just uh, flip the compressor on, and then you can air up your tires. Um, just use air for basically anything else that you need. Uh, that has like a pressure switch on off. And then <clears throat> this is my storage system that I've got. I've got a, um, on this side, this is all just different camping stuff that I need as far as a uh, little electric chainsaw on here. T t couple tables, uh, fans, anything electric, charging. Um, this electric kettle, this is pretty sweet actually if you wanna make something really quick and don't wanna set up gas. Uh, that works really well. <clears throat> Hatchet saw, extra chairs. Um, got my buckets, dish dishwashing stuff, paper towels. Um, then like some medical stuff, um, bug spray, yeah. Uh, propane canisters. This thing's actually really sweet. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to show you what this bad boy is capable of. Here, uh, we'll probably do some some cooking with it. But this is a a pretty sweet find that my buddy Gabriel uh, he turned me on to. It's it's a crack up. Just Making the perfect marshmallow. Dude, for real. Is that intense? So yeah, you can uh, you can cook with it. It's like um, <clears throat> I think it's called like a, a chef's like flamethrower or something, something like that. But yeah. Um, so yeah, this one's for storage. Um, basically, anything you need, you could put like clothes in here if you wanted. And then we're gonna put that away. Then this one. This is my kitchen. <clears throat> we're a little bit. It's a little bit awkward because the, the truck is deep into the snow and I'm on top of the snow, so this will be a little bit different. But, yeah, so this is the kitchen. This comes out like this. You got the cutting board for all your cutting board needs. And then you got your stove. <coughs> comes out like here. Yeah, then you're, you can get cooking. So yeah, that's uh, silverware. Um, <clears throat> all the different dry foods are in here. Um, all the different, um, all the different pats and pans you need. Yeah, it's basically the kitchen. Sets up super fast. Um, lots of flat space and storage. Breaks down really fast as well. <clears throat> but yeah, I like it. It's. Uh, we did like a month long road trip in um, Arizona, California, Utah, and this was like amazing, super game changing.
All goes back together like that. And then back in to its home. Boom. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. Everything here At least to stay alive And the time that we share Makes it all worthwhile Got this place on Do you feel that we got something strong? And I saw you 